Is a 10X growth con a con? And other similar events and conferences like the 10X growth conference. Are they a scam? What's going on? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's episode. All right, so today's episode really comes down to talking with one of my friends about if I'm gonna go to the 10X growth con or not. And to be honest, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I will yet or not. Um, I have some scheduling uh, arrangements that I need to deal with. I travel a lot, as you know, and just trying to figure out if I can go or if I can't. Now, there's a lot of people out there, my friend included, that asked, you know, if they go, is it gonna just be a con? You know, is it a scam? Because they don't wanna be pitched nonstop. And to be honest, if you're going for massive amounts of information, then I would not attend the 10X Growth Con, right? The, and, and other similar events. I'm not just picking on the 10X Growth Con. Um, it's just the one that we were talking about, so it's in my head. Um, I have great respect for Grant Cardone and everything that he does um, and all the speakers that actually attend at the 10X Growth Con and other conferences. But a lot of these conferences are pitch fests, all right? You've got 20 or 30 different speakers speaking on a stage for maybe an hour uh, within a couple of days. That's a lot of people in a short amount of time. And so essentially what's going to happen is they're gonna come on stage, they're gonna present a little bit of information that you may or may not have already known, and then they're going to pitch you on their products or services or something of that nature, right? That's essentially what it's going to be like. That's essentially what it has been in the past for most of these types of, of conferences. So people are calling them cons. Um, I wanted to know if it's a con or a scam. And so if you go with that mentality of I'm going to go and learn just a metric ton of shit and I'm going to be able to implement absolutely everything that that's not what you're going to go for, right? If you're going to end up going to some place like 10X Growth Con or another conference like it, you're going to go for two reasons and two reasons only. The first one is networking, right? That is the biggest reason why I go to conferences. It is not necessarily for information, right? I'll get a couple of tidbits from the information, but really it's about networking. The last conference that I went to, I must have met, I don't know, 60 people, easily 60 people. And out of those 60 people, I made incredible relationships with six or seven of them, right? So not a whole lot of people that I've, you know, really connected with, but I still made connections, right? I made good connections with a few and many connections uh, that, could be better. Uh, a lot of it's my fault. Um, but, uh, you know, I have those connections. I've made those connections and, you know, I still reach out to these people and so forth. Not as much as I should, but I'm uh, that type of person. Uh, I'm the type of person I could just, you know, go into a cave and meditate for the rest of my life, never to see another person. That's, that's just kind of me. Um, I'm very um, introverted. I don't like engagement uh, a lot. You know, I am perfectly fine sitting here in front of my computer 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, doing videos like this for you all, not a problem, but when I actually have to speak to people, uh, can be a problem. Um, but getting back to the conferences, you know, I have to really work myself up because I'm such an introvert. I have to work myself up to actually going and networking. But that is the main reason that you wanna to go to these conferences is to network. Make those connections because those connections can help you in business later on down the road. Maybe right now, but most likely later on down the road. The second reason that you're going to want to go to these conferences is to get two to three good gold nuggets of information, something that you can implement right away, all right? Knowledge is not power. The implementation of knowledge is power. And that's what you want. You wanna find one, two, three things that you can implement right away and get off running. You know, if, if I go to a conference, and I've actually done this, I've gone to conferences and within 10 minutes, you know, maybe not 10 minutes. I, I think the, the last one that I did this at, probably about uh, an hour 
or so that I was there. I got my two to three things that I could implement right away. Absolutely brilliant ideas. And I left the conference uh, and went back up to my hotel room and continued my work. Yes, I came down to do some networking, but I did not stay for the rest of the conference, actually in the conference itself. I networked a lot uh, with people while I was still there, but I, I wasn't there for any more information because I'm an implementer. I want to implement, and that's how we make money, is by taking ideas and implementing them. Unfortunately, a lot of entrepreneurs have this problem. They got a lot of these ideas, but no implementation. And that's what you want is to implement same things. So go to these conferences, network your butt off, and then get two to three good ideas on you know, something that you can implement and then use that, implement it, and start making a ton of money with it. But if you're gonna go for just a whole wealth of information, you might as well skip it. Uh, it's not a con per se, uh, but you will. It will just be. You know, I, I don't necessarily want to say a pitch fest, but essentially that's what it's going to be. All right. So that's what my thought is. Uh, you know, if you like this video, if you like the information, please click. You know, the thumbs up button below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time, guys. So take care. Bye bye.